Hi, welcome to my video on solving equations part two. This equations of absolute values. These equations in this video have a little bit of more uh, work to do to the, um, work out the absolute value. So we have to isolate the absolute value by itself equal to a number. So here we go. Let's isolate the absolute value. 2 times the absolute value of x minus 1 equals 8. So we'll divide by 2. So that means the absolute value of x minus 1 equals 4. So that means we'll do the negative of x minus 1 equals 4. Or the positive of x minus 1 equals 4. Negative 1 times x negative x, negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1, negative x equals 4 minus 1, negative x equals 3, divide by negative 1, x equals negative 3, and the plus doesn't change, so x minus 1 is 4, so x equals 4 plus 1, x equals 5, two answers. And you can check if yourself. Well, let's just check one of them. Five. Put a five in. Five minus four. Five minus one is four. Absolute value of four is four. Two four is eight. Perfect. Try negative three. Negative three minus one is negative four. Absolute value of negative four is four. Two times four is eight. So, correct. So now we have to simplify this to the ab absolute value. Let's see, so we'll first of all move negative 3 absolute value of 4x plus 5 equals negative 11 minus 1. Negative 3 absolute value, negative 12. And we divide by negative 3. They cancel out, so 4x plus 5. 5 equals 4, 4x equals 4 minus 5, 4x equals negative 1, divide by 4, so x equals negative 1 over 4. Just to make sure, plus is a minus, great, negative 12, divide by negative 3 is 4, bring the 5 minus, I'm just checking very quickly, good, and I worked it out and I did the plus. Hmm, I, I did the plus, but what I should have done is I should have done the negative of it also. So I should have done the negative first, so I changed my pattern here. So I should have did the negative of this first and then the plus after. But anyway, knowing beauty of knowing what you're doing is that the negative changes both signs, great, multiplying by negative 1, 5 multiplied by negative plus, negative 4x equals 9, divided by negative 4, and x equals negative 9 over 4. So I did, I should have did this first, and then did the plus after. So, like, that's okay, I know what I'm doing. Hopefully you know what you're doing. And let's simplify C. Get, do the absolute value first. Simplify it. So I have to do the power and I'll do the root. So a half, absolute value of x minus 3. So notice this is, the 2 is cubed, not the negative. So it's this. So that's 2 cubed, that's an 8. And... The square root of 4 is 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, so I did my power first, the root after. So I have a half. Absolute value of x minus 3 equals 6 plus 8. Half, absolute value of x minus 3, 14. Now I multiply both sides by 2, so the absolute value of x minus 3 equals 28. So, just... I'll do the negative of that, do it correctly this time according to what I showed you. Obey what I practice 
Now we've got it right. We did the negative and then the positive. The negative of negative 1 times x, negative x, negative 1 times negative 3 is 3, 28. Negative x is 28 minus 3. Negative x is 25. And divide by negative 1, x equals negative 25. And the plus doesn't change. Bring the negative 3 over to make it a positive. So x is 31. So two answers, negative 25 and 31. Okay, here we continue. So notice we simplified each of these so that we have the absolute value. So this becomes the absolute value of 4x plus 5 equals 4. So now I did the minus of it and the plus of it. So there's dividing by negative 3 gives you this equation. And now I do the plus minus. Okay, let's continue. Practice means pause the video and work it out. Here we go. Isolate the absolute value. So negative 4, 3x plus 1 equals, move to 16 over, make it negative. Divide by negative 4. Negative 4 is cancel. 3x plus 1 equals 4. The absolute value, see? I'm thinking, so the absolute value of x plus 1 equals 4. Now, the negative of, the negative of 3x plus 1 equals 4, or the positive of 3x plus 1 equals 4. And the negative Multiply negative 1 by these two is negative 3x minus 1 equals 4. Negative 3x equals 4 plus 1. Negative 3x equals 5. Divide by negative 3. x equals negative 5 over 3. And the positive doesn't change anything. 3x equals 4 minus 1. 3x equals 3, divided by 3, x equals 1. So there's two answers. Again, you isolate the absolute value by itself and then do the plus and minus on each side. Number 2. Simplify this first. So the absolute value of negative 2x plus 4 minus 2 and a half to the negative 2. So a half to the negative 2. The negative 2 is the reciprocal of a half is 2 squared. So that's 4. So the absolute value of negative 2x plus 4 equals 4 plus 2. And that simplifies to 6. So we'll do the negative on that equals 6. Or we'll do the positive equals 6. Again, I did the negative equals 6 and the positive equals 6. The negative changes the signs to so 2x minus 4. 2x equals 6 plus 4. Minus 4 moved over to become plus. 2x is 10. Divide by 2. x equals 5. And the positive doesn't change anything. Negative 2x is 6 minus 4. Plus 4 moves will become a minus. Divide by negative 2. x is negative 1. And notice, again, I isolated the, the absolute value. And then I did the plus minus. And I kept the 6 the same, but I did the negative. 2x plus 4, and I did the positive. Again, a pattern I'm going to use all the time. You're going to see how that pattern works out with inequalities, solving inequalities. Okay, solve and check. Now, it's already solved for the absolute value, so we'll do the negative on x minus 2 over 6 
equals two thirds, or the positive of x minus two over six equals two thirds. And the negative one is understood to be over one. So negative times x minus two is negative x plus two over six. When you multiply by fraction by negative, it's the numerator that you multiply. Now I have two fractions equal, so one of the ways is to cross multiply. Three times negative two x, negative x plus two equals six times two. Two fractions equal cross multiply. And just take your time and work it through. Cross multiply three times negative x plus two, six times two. E, okay, everything is plus is a minus, a six, divide. And again, check the positive divided by negative is negative. And the plus doesn't change it. X minus two over six equals two thirds. Three times x minus two, six times two. 3x minus, to be careful, 3 times x, 3 times 2 is negative 6, 12, minus becomes a plus when I transpose, divide by 3, x is 6. Now I got them solved, so let's check, let's check, I'm going to check with x equals negative 2. So the absolute value, negative 2 minus 2 over 6 equals 2 thirds. And that's the absolute value of negative 4 over 6, 2 thirds. Absolute value, it's 2 and 4 goes 2, 2 and 6 goes 3. Absolute value of negative 2 thirds is 2 thirds. Checked. We're going to check with x equals 6. And we're putting 6 in the place of x. 6 minus 2 over 6 equals 2 thirds. 6 minus 2 is 4. Uh, 4 over 6 becomes 3 over 2 when you divide by 2. 2 thirds was two thirds. So negative two is the solution, six is the solution in this equation. And I have another little extra problem this time, and it's solve the system of equations algebraically and geometrically. Notice I have a pair of equations, but when we do the algebra on this, y is equal to 3, and y is equal to the absolute value of x plus 1. That means the absolute value of x plus 1 is equal to 3, because they're both equal to y. So we're going to solve this out. The negative of x plus 1 equals 3, or the positive of x plus 1 equals 3. Notice that when you have these two equations, they become this single equation now, because the both of them are equal to y. So this is the equation that we practiced just then, isolating the uh, absolute value. But it came from both of these, left and right side, equal to y. So that's negative x minus 1 equals 3. Negative x equals 3 plus 1. Negative x equals 4. Divide by negative 1, x equals negative 4. x, don't, the positive doesn't change. 3 minus 1, x equals 2. And now, remember, this is a system. So y is 3, y is x. So when x is 4, remember, y is 3. And when 
when x is 2, y is 3. We already have a system of equations, so we have to find the values of x and y. When I solve this equation, as in the previous part of the video, I was just looking for the values of x, which is these two. But now that I have a system, I have to find the value of x and y. So these are the... Now, you notice that y is 3, so I didn't have to find what y was. But if you took the negative 4 and plugged it in right here, you would get 3. Put a negative 4 into this equation. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So when x is negative 4, this equation gives you y is 3. If you took the 2 and put it in this equation, 2 plus 1 is 3. Absolute value of 3 is 3. So a 2 gives you 3. But we didn't have to do that. We could have. But y is automatically 3 when x is either one of these two. So these are the two solutions for this system. Now, that's working there algebraically. Geometrically is geometry, solving it by graphing. So y is 3. So y is 3 is on a system of equations at x and y. y is always 3. That means y is 3 right there. So we have, this is a horizontal line. So y is 3 could be 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3. Y is always 3, no matter what x is. So when x is 0, y is 3. When x is 1, y is 3. When x is 2, y is 3. So what we have, y equals 3 is a horizontal line passing through the y-intercept of 3. So there's the graph of that horizontal line. Remember now, it's a system of equations. You're solving a system. So this is a horizontal line representing all points where y is 3. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. So every point, this one, this one, this one, and any other point has the y coordinate of 3. Now we have to look at y equals the absolute value of x plus 1. We have to graph this. So the vertex of this equation, x is negative 1, y is 0. So the vertex x is negative 1, y is 0 is right there. But notice that the slope of this equation is a 1, which is 1 over 1. So that means you're going up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. And if you go, this is a positive way, now go up 1 to the left 1, up 1 to the left 1, up 1 to the left 1, and you get this point. So if I take my ruler and draw the absolute value, representing the absolute value equation, these are the set of points that we're working on. And notice that the absolute value graph passes through right here. And this point is 2. 1, 2, 3. And this point right here is 2, 3, 4, negative 4, 3. So those are the, algebraically, I got these two answers. And geometry, graphing it, I got the same two answers. So I just thought I might put that in there as a little extra, showing you how to do it algebraically and graphically. And that brings us to the end of this video. And if you like it, click the like button, subscribe button. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.